Hey, it's Joy. I got FSD supervised version 12.3.6 a couple of days ago. So I am taking my car back out at that weird intersection where the car is supposed to make a left turn in a designated left turning lane, but instead it would start making that lane change and then halfway into that lane would come right back out and going into the straight lane, but then making an illegal left turn, as well as the car hugging the right lane marking issue. So we'll see if this update has solved those issues. And as usual, this is a disclaimer that FSD now performs at 95% correctly. So these spots that I'm taking my car out to test them on, these are outlier edge cases and do not represent the majority of time of my FSD experience. So let's go check out that intersection. All right, we are heading toward that intersection where FSD was acting funny and it wouldn't do an assertive lane change into the designated left turning lane. But before we get there, we have to get through this narrow residential street with mini roundabouts on them. And this is the route that I have been testing on since FSD beta version 10 and version 11. And FSD has finally gotten it right. But um, even though it's performing perfectly now, I still do like to take my car out on this route and just to be in awe of how far FSD has come along. So um, that was the first mini roundabout and this is the second one which is not um, indicated on the map and um, these are pretty tight situations and uh, initially FSD beta version 10 I've had to disengage uh, pretty much at all of these roundabouts because the car would just would not um, be able to handle it. But now it handles them like a champ. And if you do hear some squeaking noise from my car, it just means that uh, my car is getting old and the upper control arms um, need to be replaced. So. This just started happening like a week ago or two, and this is a common issue um, with cars. And I've had friends, uh, or I I have friends who have had theirs replaced already, and now it's my turn. So my car is at fifty nine thousand nine hundred and eleven miles, so just around sixty thousand miles. Um, when I have to get them replaced. So this will go into my sixth year Tesla Model 3 owner um, costs. So we'll see how much um, th these cost, but I think they're like $1,000 or $1,200. Don't quote me on that, but I will definitely um, report back on the right figure when I do my six year review in July. Okay, so the car was it's starting to go for some odd reason even though it was still red light. So I don't know if it was detecting the car that was coming on the right side that was making the right lane, right turning the right lane um, that he thought that I could go, but it was kind of like nudging forward. Um, okay, we need to make a left here. And this time around, yeah, this is still, oh, this is still not fixed. Okay, I need to come over. I need to disengage. So let me report this. Car was not making into the left turning lane decisively. It went back out to the going straight lane. Okay, unfortunately, FSD V12.3.6 still has not fixed this issue at this intersection. Um, it still wants to go to the straight going lane. You see the dash lines there heading straight instead of going uh, into the left turning lane. So it was 
If you notice on the screen, the blue pathing, path it actually came in here. It was signaling to going to that left turning lane. And then it was starting to actually get into that lane. But then the last second, it tried to go back out to that straight going lane, just like before. So unfortunately, this has not been fixed. And again, this is why I am making these videos and uh, report them to Tesla. And hopefully they'll figure out the algorithm and make a correction soon. Also in this uh, FSD V12.3.6, they have improved Auto Park with uh, vision instead of using the ultrasonic uh, sensor that my car has and um, parking has is has improved so much it's like so good now and I am actually going to um, find a spot basically if you can see on screen the car will automatically detect if there are spots open and then even if you're like right next to it like parallel to it, for example, like the one on the left, all I have to do is just stop moving forward, press on, um, just select whichever parking spot I wanna go to, and the car will just figure out a way and park itself in that spot. And I'm just absolutely amazed, and I've been using this function, this feature, um, pretty much every time I'm out. And I, I did it with a parallel parking, uh, really, really tight parallel parking today, um, earlier today. And then now this is just uh, doing this um, self park with ease and confidence. It's just amazing. So this is a wonderful mm -hmm. improvement with um, V, 12.3.6. Now let's go back to um, the route where the car would hug the right lane marking instead of staying dead centered. This is the route that I've been testing the right lane marking hugging issue and it looks like um, I think up ahead we'll know more. Yep, yep. It's still not fixed so it is still way over to the right and it's not um, driving that centered for whatever reason so i know i'm not the only one encountering this issue because i am uh, seeing others complaining about this on social media um, so i hope that Tesla will fix this issue of the car not staying dead centered and um, it would just drive like leaning to the right regardless of whether there's on, uh, oncoming traffic or not. So this has happened on this road when uh, the other side there's no traffic at all because some people have argued with me it's because there's oncoming traffic from the other side but the thing is it's never done this before until v12 um, and then even when there were no cars from the opposite direction it was still leaning to the right and pretty much driving C like right now like almost on the lane marking so um, yeah unfortunately this has not been fixed by Tesla and I will continue to come back on this route and test them out, reporting them back to Tesla. Well, as you saw, unfortunately, FSD supervised V12.3.6 still did not solve that left turning issue as well as the right lane marking hugging issue. However, I am confident that in due time, those bugs will be ironed out just like the other locations where I tested FSD beta on that are now working flawlessly. On the other hand, how about that new auto park feature, huh? It's so good now and I am so happy to witness the growth of 
FSD technology. Thank you so much for coming along on this ride with me. I will see you in the next video and God bless you.